Hello everyone and welcome back to some Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to start this off by apologizing for all the poor quality that the videos seem to be coming out now for this series. At least for video quality wise. It's, I don't know if it's just me maybe. I don't know if everybody else is having the same issues. But when I check them out later on they seem to be very blurry and hard to completely. I'm trying to sharpen up the image with some filters now and... We'll keep tinkering around and see if we can make it a little bit better for everybody, but we are back with our interesting little space station here. And I went ahead and made an encounter path somehow, because we had no actual transfer window that we launched to stupidly. I don't know who to blame for that one. It could be it could be anybody's fault. <laughs> but Somehow, we got a very, I want to say cheap, method of coming in contact with one of my favorite runs. Well, potentially one of my favorite runs. If I remember what button, this button. Drez, no. Yay! The Jupiter run! Well, not my Jupiter rocket, but hey, what can you do, eh? The Jupiter rocket is great. I had like so many different stages all designated for each little individual moon and planet. Everything orbiting Jupiter here, old jewel here. and Oh, it's great. But it's great. If we can get in there good enough, we might be able to capture one of these moons and just start swinging around and getting science data. And then swing right out with very little delta V use. But I mean, we spend 3,000. We're still going to have 6,000 left over here to make our way back to Kerbin. If we still choose to, hey, maybe we'll find another window that we can open up to and head for. But let's uh, get 233 days. I don't feel like waiting that long. So I think I'm going to quick save in case things fall apart. Kraken style. Let's situate ourselves a little bit better here. I'm a little sleepy. But I think I'm good for this. Oh, there shouldn't be any obstacles I can crash into, right? <laughs> Not behind the wheel of a motor vehicle? No, no, no. Just something with a lot more thousand kilodons of frost. Hey, that's nothing but a thing. Let's see about fast forwarding to our point of burning might take a little bit to turn so six minute burn too so we're tipping into those our other stage at that point okay 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 well we'll uh oh we're turning around pretty good here i think we'll be all right um yeah so i come at a time where the roll is The roll is just flying off the charts right now. What is going on? I'm afraid to touch it. Uh... <laughs> eh? Okay. Did we kind of... Fix our issue there. No, well, something's up with our gyro, maybe. So as we cancel it out, it's gonna go more wonky. No, man, I didn't clip any parts together or anything. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna try to avoid clipping parts together. I mean, besides like the radial attachment points that you see, because of cracking issues. Till I figure out how to make a good cracking drive. <laughs> Actually, I want to try to figure out how to make a good magnet, a docking port magnet drive. I know I can. It's 
got to get my head around PC building here. All right, let's get closer to that. I mean, we seem straightened out now, I guess. Wait. Now, does burn time mean start burn in? Because, like, eight minutes puts me to pretty much the maneuver marker. Yeah. And I have to burn for six minutes. Oh, let me, okay, I'm going to quick save here. <laughs> and if somehow I miss the maneuver <laughs> completely, so we'll go with the start burn in. We'll follow this off uh, first. So it's going to take us, I guess, right to the maneuver now, eh? Okay, uh, six minutes, sure. And then if it fails, then we'll go off of the burn time itself and give it enough off of the maneuver node. Oh, I don't understand sometimes. It's so hard coming from console sometimes. I love it though. It would have been so terrible going to console from this version. All right, let's begin. Ah, three, two, one. Let's do a slow increase of our throttle. We rock the whole thing, and I've activated sticky keys. <laughs> Before we rock the whole thing apart, because oh, those G forces. Are they G forces? I don't understand the physics. <laughs> I mean, there's gotta be some sort of. Oh, there she goes. I lost something. What was it? Oh, something just separated. The docking ports. Did they just undock? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, it says undock, but. Everything's just kind of, oh, we are, we're going off. Kilter here, what? Something has snapped. Oh, we've lost all our, oh. This section here, again, has snapped. We've lost all control of this stage. We are technically onto this stage now. Engines are supposed to be off. Ugh. <laughs> well, <sighs> I guess, right? Oh, a roll. Okay, come on, baby. Pop that off. It still registers those engines as in. <gasps> <laughs> this is going to be quite an episode today, folks. <laughs> Alright, before we, uh, we lose any more time here, because it's, it's, I have no faith in this whatsoever. I think you get all the way over there! I, I don't know what the heck happened there. It's just too much stress back and forth, I guess, for her. Oh, flip me. <laughs> We're like three minutes off our mark. We probably have to cut our engine and get the SAS to catch up to her. <laughs> uh, that's okay, we got to... Looks like we got 10 minutes of doing this, so I'm not going to let you guys sit through this whole thing this entire time, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll come back in about 10 minutes or so as we get close to, uh-oh, what just kind of registered there. Okay, okay, we are, it just kind of all caught up to itself that we've lost the engines and we're on this stage now. No, no, bad. <laughs> Ah, the slow reliability of nuclear power. <laughs> Alright, folks. Just one little 
nuclear nuclear poof engine <laughs> catastrophic failure forehand a little bit extra burning a little bit of loss of delta v i think we might pull it off though i got another minute or so to start really paying attention to things it should be good it's coming down the wire 124 supposedly there's no way we're gonna push to that in 120 100 i mean i guess maybe i don't know it's been tracking the maneuver note that's been moving this entire time one nice thing about that little <laughs> this little craft Uh, Joel, 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 zoom in. I don't want to overshoot this really at all. We're not going to come in crazy fast, but we're going to come in. Just in case things end up going completely awry. How are we doing so far? I think we're getting there, I think. Come on, show up, show up, show up, show up. 40, 40 delta V. 40 delta V. 40 delta V. 40 meters per second. Come on. Come on. Come on. 30 meters per second. Come on. Come on. I see stuff moving here. Oh, no. I see it disappearing, reappearing, reappearing, disappearing. Oh, there we are. Oh, yay. And, oh. oh. Okay. Ha. Should be quick save. I mean, we got. Uh, 5,000 bits of Dolby. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Let's see what we can. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what is it going to take? Oh boy. And we messed it all up. Oop, wrong button. Interesting. Not really what I was hoping for, though. Um, let's try swing. See if we can get this to swing around a bit at all. Um, I want to try and counter like one of our moons here. <laughs> oh, what was that? I think I passed it, whenever it was. Hmm, there was some sort of... ...encounter that happened here. Yeah, it, it keeps happening. That's when Jupiter changes, or Jewel, Jewel changes color. Here it is. What is that? That just swings our rotation back around the jewel. Hmm. Interesting. Which direction was that in? Okay, this way. Much. Interesting. I mean, it does bring us in really close to the jewel, but... I'm not getting this encounter with any of the moons. I can't remember which one of these ones. I think it's Tylo is a really easy one. The, the one that you want to grab. It's, is it Tylo? Maybe we can... Because one of these ones are like the bigger one. And they have a good gravitational pull on them. Oh. Tylo encounter right there. But it's a crash encounter. I think. Uh, let's see, Tylo. Focus view. 
I don't even see it, or is it just too far along the orbital path to even notice? At 271, we just have to bypass, you know, a couple of rotations. That's just time. Alright, um... Let's get on the maneuver node. Let us do our quick save at now I guess <clears throat> just in case any of this turns south and we're gonna get to this point here and we will return oh we've lost our Tylo intercept somehow apparently Let's see what were we doing for that we were tinkering with this there it is but still not showing us how we're gonna encounter it I thought we would have by the time we got on this one, I guess it's still so far away. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. Alright, I'm just going to go with the warp to next maneuver node. We're going to do this burn. And go from there, I guess. But we're here, that's a good start. And I'm gonna actually do the quick save before we do this burn, because I like that we're here. We're now in dual space high. So I mean, technically I could start running science data, but I don't see the point right just yet anyways. Let's see about just getting ourselves some cool stuff first. Get an encounter somewhere, what is that? That's our dual encounter. Yeah, like we're getting like a couple of dual encounters, then we're going like right straight for Tylo. I don't know. I don't feel too good about that. We're probably just gonna go poof, right smack dab in the side of it. But if we can catch it before we do that, we can pretty easily adjust ourselves. I don't mind that. Let's do it! Oof, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got the MAT and my current live stream out of Mega Aquarium. <laughs> Balloons everywhere. Alright, well, this, this, this could take a couple minutes, anyways. I'll uh, do this bird and we'll go from there. Oh snap, I gotta pay attention here. Hmm. There we go. Wait. Okay. Oh wait, maybe we're not quite there yet. <clears throat> Is that it? Is that what we're going for? <laughs> just, are we just pushing for just like a hint more to catch? Tylo? No, oh, it's still just dual encounter at that point. I am super confused here. And alright, I mean, I'll clear the maneuver notes out. And. Well, there is a Tylo encounter! Touchy. Very touchy. You might not get it. Might have to do some tweaking. So we are there, we're going to have to do some saving at this point. And warping and testing. And for the best. <laughs> oh my god, it's been so long. Looks like I got a healthy Tylo encounter though. And we'll uh, get some science before the end of this episode too. What is that? 
the Tylon counter still, and then dual escape. I'm confused. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. Yay, we're here. So we can get, like, dual space high, start tinkering around with some things. All right, let's get some science. We're, we're basically here. I'm happy with where we're at. This is where we'll spend this episode, next episode. Who knows what we'll do after that. Depends how much food we got left. Yeah, I think we should be good to go. I didn't bring any satellite with me, which is... Odd after getting all that communication up and running, but... Can you do, eh? Oh, boo! Wrong button. Oh. <laughs> so I extended the ones that can't normally be extended. <clears throat> oh crap. Now they're not gonna unextend. Retract. Retract. I mean, I can keep them up, but they're all clippy and weird, and I just don't like that. I wasn't that one out. Was it clipping into something, or...? Oh, it might at certain angles, yeah. <clears throat> I bet you that's what that was. Yes, thank you. Get the boom going. Magnetometer report, perfect. Uh, keep, 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 keep. Now I just hit two, right? Three. Ha ha. Now, <clears throat> let's, oh, get my mouse back here. Let's see how well I can operate a jetpack. Oh, wait, I don't have to. I just have to go huh, put on a ladder. Go ladders, go ladders, go ladders. And we make it back from this trip. We aren't going to ever need any more science trips ever again. We're going to be able to unlock all the parts and do all the cool things, I think, finally. I like that. Hmm, <laughs> fine. Let's go RCS and... Oh, wrong way. Uh oh, uh oh, things have gone horribly, horribly wrong. Stop rolling. Okay, um. There we go, alright, watch out for the solar panels. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, oh crap, 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 how do we get it to go? And... All right, this actually went well. Blink. Up back, and then I got up, up, over. F. Ah! I did get the reset, right? Okay. <clears throat> oh, Lord. Christ, it's like I haven't had a drink all freaking time. I've just been drinking this whole time. <clears throat> Trying to keep my throat from doing the same thing. What else is new, right? Anyways, uh, we got science. Things are reset. Ah, there's Jewel. It's so big and green. <sighs> Party. Let's see, we got some time. We have this Tylo encounter. I wonder what we could do after that. Or can we play with this one to get other ones? I can't remember how I did that before. Which order I bounced around in. <laughs> See what we can get, if anything. Oh, there goes my Tyler encounter, yes, but. We're just toying with us for now. Mm -hmm. Um, let's toy with, uh, <clears throat> oh, refocus here. That might help, too. Alright, um, let's toy with the Tylo. Hmm, actually. 
I wouldn't mind getting that in closer on the periapsis for a tylo at the very least, and then we'll swing it and worry about it after that. It's not really tightening in at all, is it? Yeah, that's not affected. Oh, that's I I tagged the permanent one. <laughs> da. Now I hope that's the temp one. Yes. Oh, just inverted there. Nine hundred, eight hundred. Oh, ah, flip me. Okay, I like to think seventy-one thousand meters is. In space lower, it'll be very close to it, probably where we can point to where we can just shift it over from there, and uh, and we'll get that tile of science. See where we're gonna go from there, and that might call it quits for this episode. All right, we are getting close to our burn, I believe. This episode may creep in a little longer than normal. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So far, we have gotten. Dual space data high. So, tick that off on our markers, pay attention to when I'm supposed to be burning, and let's continue. <laughs> Wait. Is that accurate? I can't tell. Oh, I need to shift focus probably to Tylo. <clears throat> So where are we at now? Ooh, oh, flip! What the heck, game? Uh, okay. Um, close that out. So what if I come here? And instead, just kind of like... Yeah, it's already increasing. So let's swing this out to like what? Just under 70 again? It's 71 before, I guess, technically. Ah, oh, flip. Alright, I think that might get in space low for Tylo, and then we'll just figure out where we can go from there. <laughs> Quick saves! Very baby burn. Very baby burn. Looking at though, we might need a little bit lower than 69. I don't know. We'll see what that gets us, I guess. We'll do a quick save once we hit this. And if it ends up being still in space high, we'll just reload and redo it. That's fine. Nailed it on time there. So let's just do like that. 63. I think we're going to be clear. It looks pretty clear. It's, it doesn't look like it's very mountainous. Craterous, yes. <laughs> Bonus, nah. Quick save! Let's get some Tylo in space high science. For just the heck of it. I like science. Ooh, that is so much science if we make it back. <laughs> stay positive, stay positive. When we make it back. Boop! When we make it back. All right, it's on. It's on. Learn how to say the name, stupid. Can I turn on RCS now? It's... Nice. No. Fine. I guess you're going that way. Or just over. Oops. Um, that's up. Boop. We're good. <laughs> Took lots of yeah, lots of fuel. I think it replenishes as we got back into. <gasps> that's fine. Quick saves. And let's see where that uh, current point gets us. 
so we've stopped just shy of our periapsis still and we are now in space low so let's do some in space low science and we'll finish up this episode with some tylo activity hi tylo wow i don't think this is one of the plants that have been worked on yet because I know those, some of those plans have been, are higher detail have been better worked on. And I hope it's a better detail for you guys. Although it is blurry for me down there too. But I mean like even the craft. I hope it's not that blurry anymore. Ah, We'll keep working on it like I said. Let me all monitor this. I'll check out this video after and see. Maybe it's just YouTube's encoding. My poor version of YouTube. I don't know. Let's keep all oh, science. Yeah, Alright, all right. everybody, thank you for sticking around in our, in the beginning of our, well, part two of our epic journey. Apparently a rebirth of my Jupiter freaking trip, and I love that trip, that was so much fun. It's nothing like this though, all I did was build like, you know, just a single multi-stage rocket. <laughs> And I had all the stages optimized for... Man, it feels like we're... Weird. Moving. I had all the stages optimized for the run. Each and every individual gravitational field of each body here. But... I don't know if it made it really a difference or not. It's still fun, though. Those engines are really, really efficient. I remember that at least. Every engine was built very efficient for its task. Run button. I think I just turned on cap locks. I think we don't use that in this game, eh? Oh, yeah, I did turn on cap locks. How about that? Alright! Let's get Ned's out in here and sign off for this episode, everybody. Again, thank you all for sticking around. I hope you have enjoyed. We are so far from home. God, we're still almost enough to get any further. We're going to start needing RTGs, I swear. Oh, boy.